What's up, my NoFap brothers? Man, I'm back again with another valuable informational update. Uh, I'm feeling really good right now. I just worked out, so I mean, I, I have a lot of energy, and I want to share this energy with you guys. So today I'm going to be talking about women attraction stories. So yesterday I worked out, and I decided that after I work, I haven't worked out in two weeks because I hurt my shoulder. That so I needed to uh, do an ice bath right after my workout just to heal my body and to help it repair itself a lot quicker than if I didn't take ice bath. But okay. So I went to the store right here by my house and it's, it's this cute girl that's always working there. And the uh, it's 89 cents per bag and I buy five bags of ice. So that, that totals out to be like 480, you know, and I was going to buy the bags of ice. Okay. I walk in there and my, when I, when I have a conversation with a girl, I just try to be, I don't try to take myself too serious and I just try to like have fun because in my mind, you, you know, the song girls just want to have fun. Girls just want to have fun. Um, and that's true. Girls just want to have fun. They want to be playful. So if you go into interaction with a girl and you're just fun, you know, you just raise her emotional level, you know, about you, you know, she just feels good. So when I walk up to the counter, I like, can I get five bags of ice? And like I said, the total is usually 480, but this time it was 650. And I asked her what happened to the to the price. She's like, ever since I came back from Mexico uh, two weeks ago, the prices went up on everything. And I was like, man, fuck this. I'm not gonna pay for that ice. And I walked away, just playing. I walked away and I came back and she was smiling. And I, I'm just kidding. So um, I had a Great American Cookie gift card. Well, not a gift card, a coupon. It was buy one cookie, get one cookie free. Had that in my hand and I had five dollars in my pocket just in case um, she said no to the offer. So I handed her the coupon and I was like, can we do an exchange for the coupon? You know, instead of me paying six fifty. And she looked at it. She looked at me with a smile. and She like, yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? I was just playing. I didn't even know. I didn't think it was going to work, but it worked. I didn't have to pay six fifty for five bags of ice. I know it's not a big deal for some people, but I still didn't have to pay six fifty to the store. She works for the store. That's that's not even her bag of ice. That's the store's bag of ice. That's the store money. So she let me go with the coupon for the Great American card. For the Great American coupon for the cookie. And you know, I can judge a woman attraction because I read Coach Corey Wayne Three Percent Man book on how to judge a woman attraction. And I knew she was attracted to me from the first start from, you know, making eye contact with me and looking away, submitting, you know, laughing and giggling, you know, just being playful. So she she let me go with uh, five free bags of ice for a great American um, cookie coupon. So that was pretty cool. And I'm like, OK, if I could do this, I'm going to go into every interaction, um, just being cool and just being playful and see if I can get shit for free. You know, why not? Why not test the waters? So I'm just trying to test my game and to see what I can get, you know. Um, another another one, another one what was it maybe five days ago, I went to Adidas store to buy some shoe cleaner. I walk up to the girl. It's two girls at the counter, one over here to the left, one over to the right. Walk up to the girl to the left and I get a shoe cleaner. And she's like, you know what? You should buy these balls that are deodorant for your shoes and for your bags to help your bag smell good when you go to work. I like, no, nah, I'm good. I smell good. You know, just playing around. And I asked her, do you use those? And she was like, yeah, I put in my gym bag whenever I go to the gym. I like, and then I said this and I was like, yeah, man, you, you girls do need that. You, you girls do need, um, deodorant in y'all, in y'all, um, restroom because y'all restroom is fucking filthy. I mean, the man's restroom is not even as filthy as yours. And note this, guys, I would have never said that um, if I was fapping or back in my earlier days, just being a, just being a nice guy, you know, because all my life I've been a nice guy, just letting women walk all over me or just people talk to me any kind of way, and just not asserting myself in that position. So when I said that, when I said, man, yeah, your women's restroom is fucking filthy, you know, which is true. It is fucking filthy. And she agreed. You know, she agreed and like, yeah, man, it is true. And then the girl that's that was to the right, um, she asked, what are y'all talking about? And I, I was saying, yeah, I was just telling her that y'all, that the women restroom, any women restroom is fucking filthy. And she comes over and she's like, yeah, that's that's true. 
And I was like, well, I'll see y'all later. And both of them was like, wait, wait. How do you know the girl's restroom is filthy? How do you know? And I was walking away and I was like, see you later. So the thing is, I left those girls wondering and I left those girls in a uh, in a mysterious manner, just like wondering, like, who is this guy? How does he know these things? So I left their their attraction level for me at a higher at a higher uh, at a higher scale than it was when I first walked in there. And the thing is, um, the next time I go in there, their attraction level will still be right here, maybe a little higher because. It's, it's all in their subconscious mind. They might forget about me a week, two weeks, but when I re-enter their atmosphere, uh, they will associate me with feeling good. You know, you want to associate every interaction with a girl with a feel-good state, you know? So next time you enter her atmosphere, you won't have to work as hard to raise her attraction level because her attraction level is here, not here anymore. Because when you left her, she was wondering about you. She was kind of like, that guy's kind of mysterious. And... And that's what I did, you know? So next time I do go in there, they will associate me with feeling good, you know? So, and I'm not trying to get the girls. I'm just practicing my game, you know, just practicing my game, just trying to work on it. And all, everything that I'm telling you guys, I've read from um, Coach Corey Wayne, how to be a 3% man guy. And he helps you judge it. He helps you understand a woman's attraction and what gets a woman so attracted to her. And back to the, and back to the um, story with with the free fat with the uh, free five bags of ice, you know, I I made her feel good because women women uh, make decisions based on how they feel in, in that particular moment. If you make a girl feel good in that particular moment, you know she's more likely to be willing to accept your offer and to do what you say. So I made her feel good, made her laugh. She was attracted. Boom. Um, another another quick story when I whenever I go to Wingstop. The first time I went to Wingstop, it was this girl, and I was playing with her back and forth, and she was like, sir, your order's ready, and I was sitting maybe 20 feet away, and I'm like, just throw the bag of, just throw the bag of fries, just, just throw it to me, just fucking around with her. She's like, no, I'm not going to throw the bag of fries, you come get it. I'm like, no, I'm going to sit here until you throw the bag of fries. But anyways, I got the bag of fries, and you know, she said bye, smiling, whatever. So I didn't go back until, I didn't go back into Wingstop to maybe two weeks later to buy some fries and it was a new girl but that same girl that uh i saw two weeks ago she was still there but i went to the new girl and i was talking to the new girl and the old girl was like hey aren't you that guy that was playing with me with the fries and i was like nope and uh, i was like and then i showed her i showed her my uh, my wallet because i was messing with her. i was saying i'm an fbi agent and i showed her my i said i'm an fbi agent i never told her my name or nothing she's like yeah you are the guy and me leaving her with a, a feel good emotion in her subconscious mind, even though she wasn't thinking about me, but she was thinking about me in her subconscious mind that, OK, this guy, you know, left me feeling good. So when I reentered her atmosphere, she associated with me with feeling good, you know, so that's the whole that's the whole thing. Whenever you whenever you talk with a girl, just, you know, be playful. Don't take yourself too serious and uh, and leave her wondering about you, leave her anticipating like who is this guy you know and that's and that's how you build women's attraction you know leave her wondering don't tell her too much information about yourself you know just leave her wondering leave her guessing and that's why women like bad guys I guess, because bad guys do what the fuck they want to do and don't give up too much too much information about yourself and i learned all this from coach Corey wayne how to be a three percent man guy i'm gonna do a book I'm going to do a review. No, not a review, but I'm going to do um, a video on all the books I've read. Also, with Tony Robbins, he always says, you know, get your get your mind in an emotional feel-good state. Associate things with pleasure instead of pain. So whenever you interact with a girl, you want to leave her, uh, you want her to associate pleasure with you instead of pain. So the next time you enter that atmosphere, in her presence, she might not remember you right off the back, but her subconscious mind will. When her subconscious mind catches up um, with her conscious mind, it will it will pop up a oh shit, yeah, I remember that guy made me feel good. You know he, you know, with inside, you know. So yeah, that's a quick little women attraction story for you guys. And man, fuck.
things are getting things are getting good. And oh yeah, I still get occasional uh, stares. You know, all the time, or fuck me eyes from, from girls, or you know, and or, or I just I can just I understand women attraction now a whole lot better than I did a year ago. But like I said, I'm a recovering nice guy, and I'm sure all you guys are. You know, we all are recovering nice guys who try to be our best version. And I'm not my best version all the time. I still have bad days and I have good days. You know, I still get I still get nervous when I talk to uh, real pretty girls, you know, but I still talk to them. I still I still do my thing, you know. That's what you gotta do. If you're if you're feeling nervous or shy, still do it so you can build off that experience. That's how you get confidence. You know, in that area is building off that experience little by little by little. So if you get experience here, 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 it keeps widening up. So every time you go back into that particular situation, you can now go back to the experience that you had. Like, okay, I had a good time doing this. It was all good. Now you have more confidence entering that situation again, you know, or entering that atmosphere again because you build on that experience on a extended period of time. Well, guys, um, that's it for now. Uh, I will be back again with another update very, very shortly. Stay strong and stay fucking focused.